Welcome to ForexTV.com. Today is Monday, December 29th. I'm Kathleen Reddington with your New York Forex Market Buzz. The dollar falls to the euro and the Swissy as tensions flare in the Middle East. And now for a look at the latest headlines from the CEP News Desk. According to the Bank of England, UK housing equity withdrawals fell to negative 5.7 billion pounds in the third quarter of 2008. Economists had expected a more modest decline in withdrawals to negative 3.3 billion pounds following the previous quarter's fall to negative 2 billion. According to the ECB vice president, the European Central Bank could be looking at lowering rates again and it should and should the upside inflation risks wane. However, that does, he does not expect deflation in the Eurozone. And final third quarter GDP data for France confirms the economy there managed to dodge a technical recession. This makes it the only large Eurozone economy to grow over the reference period. Estimates suggest that the economy grew 0.1% in the quarter and 0.6% on the year. Today we are joined by Vasily Serebrikov of Wells Fargo. Hi Vasily, how are you doing today? Hi, very well, thanks. All right, so now that everybody is back at work, back from their holiday, uh, was there any movement that we need to be caught up on over the holiday weekend? No, I think as far as liquidity conditions are concerned, it's still very much um, a holiday uh, trading mode, um, i.e. liquidity is somewhat limited. So uh, although we're seeing a weaker uh, dollar today, uh, I wouldn't read too much into those moves. Now, you did just mention that the dollar is weak. Uh, it's based on there's fighting in the Middle East. The dollar's fallen to the euro and pretty sharply to the Swiss franc. I want to know what your dollar strategy is for these two pairs. Well, it seems like uh, the dollar is, is uh, trading with a weaker tone right now. We think the, the main cause is the geopolitical jitters in the Middle East, although the correlation, uh, uh, the correlation between uh, uh, safe haven flows and the dollar has not been that reliable, but uh, to, as far as today is concerned, uh, oil prices are higher, and that's probably the main factor uh, behind the U.S. dollar weakness. Um, again, this week is, is still fairly quiet, uh, but we would expect the U.S. dollar to remain somewhat on the defensive uh, throughout the week. Now, I want to talk to you about oil's gains. It seems recently that it has no bottom oil, but do you think this tension could stabilize it, or is this just kind of like a false inflation? It's probably more of a corrective bounce, and uh, we, we don't, uh, we certainly don't see it extending too much. Although, of course, the the, the political situ situation adds to the uncertainty. Fundamentally, um, oil is still in a bear trend given um, uh, increasing signs of a worldwide economic uh, recession. All right, and the pound is falling to the euro as their housing market continues to be shaken. Uh, what is your sterling strategy for the week today? Well, the sterling is, is certainly another currency that, that's, uh, that's very, very weak this week, and that's really a continuation of a recent trend where we, uh, where we saw a number of consecutive um, record lows in the sterling against the euro. Um, there's really little to change that pattern, um, at least in the short term, um, although we do think that um, uh, at, this, at these sort of levels, the, the pound is, is slightly oversold. All right, Vasily, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. This has been your New York Forex Market Buzz with Vasily Serebrikov of Wells Fargo. I'm Kathleen Reddington. Join us later this afternoon, 4 p.m. exchange, right here on ForexTV.com.